the back. And on the left here, we have our vocabulary list, which we will have a test on. Ha 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 ha. Um, here we have the new concept that we're learning about music today, music theory. Um, we're learning about mm, the measure. Excuse my hand, right? Um, now, uh, here we have the measure. The measure is pretty much, um, uh, it's the grid on music. Uh, basically it holds your notes, but that's not its job. Well, that's its job, but it, it pretty much is the grid. So, it, um, uh, so think about graph paper, you know, but actually this measure, um, this type of grid is a little bit different than, uh, many other types of grids. Um, here are the components of a um, measure. Now, this is what the measure looks like. So, if you don't, it's, it has it's like a, it's like five lines. And uh, let's see here. We have the bar line here, and we have the note here. The note, which we went over, pretty much, it pretty much depicts you know the value, um, depending on what, what type of you know know what it is but um the bar line here actually depicts the beginning and the ending of the measure so of course this is the beginning of the measure and this is the ending of a measure now sometimes you may see a double bar line like so and it'll look like this on music uh and really what this basically means is it's going to a different part of the music. If you ever heard of the chorus, the bridge, the 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 top, the head, you know, that's what this depicts basically. So if you see it, that means it's going to another section in the music. Um, now these are the notes. It could be any of these notes. So um, it could be a half note which can be depicted like that with the tail going down um or the staff going down excuse me the tail i like to call it the tail or the flag uh uh but we'll get into that uh the different parts of the note later but this it could be a half note it could be any of the notes but that's what the note would look like if it were in the actual measure um now that's pretty much it on the basics of a measure. Now, if we were to move on, uh, instead of it being a double bar line here, sometimes you'll see this. And this basically, separately, it looks like this. It's called a repeat sign. And basically, a repeat sign basically um basically tells you go back to the beginning of either the phrase which could be more than one measure or the measure so basically this is the back it's telling you to go back this type of repeat sign now if you see this type of repeat sign this is telling you to go forward or this is the beginning excuse me um that's the beginning and then this means you've reached the end of the phrase. End of the phrase. Excuse me, that looks like an X. That means you reach the end of the phrase and you go to this repeat sign. So basically they're like parentheses in a way, but they're just telling you to repeat. So Knowing that, if we were to play this, saying it would be two beats per measure, I guess, it would be, uh, 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 since a half note is worth two beats, we would play the measure like so. I'll repeat it again. Uh, uh. Because we have two beats, uh, but we repeated it again, so it ended up being four beats at the end. So, uh, uh, and it was separated. 
So, um, yeah, you guys. So that's the basics of a measure. Um, if you have any questions, please note it in the comment box below. Um, any comments, please note it in the comment box below. Um, you know, uh, this is just the basics of a measure. Uh, it could get a little bit complex um, depending on what instrument you're playing but for saxophone purposes that's pretty much it um, for right now for the beginner level and um, you have the treble clef, you have the G clef, you have the measure, you have the beat the beat so basically when you see a measure you have a specific number of beats per measure now beats are not like uh, in when I'm talking like this in this context, beats are not like, okay, let's come up with a radical new beat for my song. Not necessarily in this context. Beats are pretty much the meter or the pattern that every measure goes by. Now, the beat can change within one song. But uh, for this um, particular um, measure here, we don't necessarily have a time signature on here. But that's for the next lesson. So, um... This is just two beats right here. Uh, you can clap it out. Beats can go like this. One, two, three, four. It's just a consistent meter. So when you're going through the song, you go. Uh, 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 depending on what the meter is, you'll see it on a piece of paper. But it always goes a consistent beat. And that basically the meter that you follow throughout the entire song and that that goes into your time signature but the beat is the timekeeper pretty much it's just like seconds it keeps the time it keeps the time going now depending on what song you're playing you might have a certain amount of beats per measure you know and that might vary but you know Think about time. When you're thinking about beats, think about time. Instead of seconds, think beats. And the beats can be faster or slower, depending on what tempo you have. And those are for the next lesson. Or the next lesson is going to be on time signature. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.